In this mini leadership course by Paul Robinson, you will learn how to become an authentic leader and how to lead with integrity. As leaders, you need to walk the talk and you must be a person of high integrity. To be a role model, you need a strong sense of integrity. When leaders exhibit integrity, they inspire trust and respect in those around them. Furthermore, a leader with integrity is able to make tough decisions and maintain their moral compass even when faced with challenging situations. Integrity is critical to long-term success. For shortcuts and short-term gains, you don't need integrity. A leader who lacks integrity may achieve short-term gains, but they are unlikely to maintain these gains over time. A leader with integrity, on the other hand, can lay a solid foundation of trust and loyalty that will benefit their organization for years to come. Let's talk about earning trust through integrity. You know, trust cannot be commanded. You have to earn it. And you do this by being a leader of unquestionable integrity, an authentic human being who has that high, highly developed sense of straightness and fairness in all human interactions. As a leader, your ethical standards and moral compass will have a major impact on your behavior, not on just what you say, but on who you are and what you do. It takes extraordinary courage and a sense of self-worth, as well as a certain amount of wisdom to avoid the slippery slope of temptation. But you need to do the right thing and you know what it is. You win all the directions and not all the levels of the organization. A leader with high integrity always stands out. Other leaders look up to you. Because it's not easy to be a leader with high integrity. Integrity is in very much in short supply. It is easy for leaders to fall into temptations to think about their own gains over others. But this is a virtue that leaders need to develop. Integrity is an integral part of all the things that we do and all the decisions we make. Now I'll tell you what is not integrity so that you can understand what is integrity. In some sense, we can more easily define integrity by what it is obviously not. It's not lying, it's not stealing, it's not fudging your accounting or uh, mistreating your team members or greenwashing your marketing. It's not making unsubstantiated claims or false comparisons. It's not misleading your customers or hiding facts from them or hiding facts from the public. All of those can be easily grouped into that lacking integrity bin of failed leadership. Integrity is the polar opposite of all this. It is truth telling. It's free communication, it's walking the talk, it's being honest and transparent. Honesty and transparency is an integral part of building a leadership of integrity. To lead with integrity, you need to be honest and transparent. Honesty is the critical component of integrity and leaders must be truthful in their communication and actions. This means admitting when you are wrong and being transparent about important decisions and information. Truth telling is the very foundation of integrity. Leaders with high integrity don't sugarcoat facts. They don't manipulate people or information. They give constructive feedbacks. They can speak the uncomfortable truth and they are ready to have uncomfortable conversations. Covering up facts is the opposite of integrity. Leaders with integrity tell the reality the way it is. They don't use softeners to make something look good. They make truth-telling an easier form of communication process within an organization. Whether it is good news or bad news, people are encouraged to define the reality as it is by stating the important facts. They also encourage their followers to speak the truth. The leadership virtue of integrity requires honesty and not only in what you say but also in what you allow yourself to hear. All information must be transparent and leaders with high integrity are willing to listen to the uncomfortable conversations and critical informations. What is integrity? 
when there's no one else to impress, nothing to be personally gained, no external image to be tarnished, no social standing to maintain, it's important to ask what guides our actions. That's integrity. It is who you are when nobody is watching you. Another strong sign of integrity is the courage to stand up for what is right. Leaders with integrity are not afraid to take a stand on ethical issues, even if it means going against the norm. This takes courage, but it is essential for maintaining the integrity of the organization. One important thing to remember is that integrity is not a testimony to an ideology, but to principles. Unconditional support to an ideology will not make you a leader with integrity. An ideology can be built on faulty ideas and notions and people can be sincerely wrong. Leading with integrity is guided by right principles and human virtues. Most leaders will have a leadership perspective guided by their beliefs and principles. This is a good thing. However, if leaders are blinded by their principles to a point of an inflexible ideology, then they will not be open to any opportunities and different point of views. The best leaders are principled, but they are also flexible in their approach. They are open to criticism. They are willing to listen to other point of views. They are ethical in their approach. They have a moral compass and a strong ethics adhere to their values. They don't say things which they don't mean. And they earn respect because of this particular quality. People trust them because they keep their word. No matter what it takes, their word is their pact. Becoming an authentic leader. Authentic leaders have high integrity. Authenticity means being true to ourselves and straightforward with others, whatever the situation you may find yourself in. Authenticity also springs from self-consistency between inner values and outer behavior. It's saying what you mean, practicing what you preach. It's walking the talk. Authentic leaders are consistent in what they say and what they do. Authenticity is the continuous process of developing your self-awareness of your whole self that is strengths and limits. The more you know about yourself and the greater your acceptance, the more authentic you become. Becoming more authentic is a process of discovering oneself. The, the result is that you become more like an open book. The more authentic people are, the more open they are, they are more transparent. They have nothing to hide. Whether they come to authenticity naturally or work hard to attain it, the most real, genuine, sincere people tend to be open to both their capabilities and their own vulnerabilities. They have an inner openness with themselves about their strengths as well as their limitations. There is no persona, no PR image for the public. It's you being you without filters. The opposite of authenticity is being fake. An authentic person lives according to the highest values. They lead by example. They walk the talk. They practice what they preach. You can trust their words because you can trust their deeds. They are transparent. The image they project in public is not drastically different from how they really live in private or who they are in their private life. They are not playing a role or a character or any persona. They are just being themselves. They don't hide their mistakes and weaknesses and have the courage to actually be who they really are. They are willing to expose their vulnerabilities to their followers and they encourage their followers also to do the same. This makes them worthy of others' trust. Consistency is the key. Authentic leaders are consistent. They are not fickle-minded and they stick to their principles. Their behavior is consistent and they are not easily swayed by superficialities because they are consistent. They are highly dependable. People can actually rely on their words. Now, what does this mean for your leadership development? You see, leading with integrity and being authentic has so many perks. It's a leadership virtue that you can develop. It requires deep work. It stems from your character and personality. 
But you can cultivate only if be, being authentic has become your utmost personal value. As far as behavioral changes are concerned, you need to be transparent in your dealings. You must be willing to expose your vulnerability. You must be guided by certain principles and values that you don't compromise on. You need to be authentic and genuine in your behaviors. You must be consistent with your words. You must be willing to admit mistakes if you make any. You see, leadership or leading with integrity is not always easy, but it is essential for creating a successful and effective organization. But being honest, transparent, and standing up for what is right, leaders can inspire trust and respect and confidence in those around them. Remember, a leader's integrity is a reflection of their character, and it is the foundation upon which their leadership is built. So lead with integrity. Become an authentic leader.